We all need a little escape these days. It could come in the form of a vacation. It might even be as little as much needed day off from the daily grind. Or it could come in the form of memorable videos like these that some lifesavers captured on their cameras. Three, two, one. Nice <laughs> Who doesn't want to see a breakdancing gorilla? Or what about a video of a paraglider sailing through the sky on a couch? Apple eating, juggling awesomeness? Yes, please. You'll be saying thank you after you watch this. 15 times the camera was at hand at the right moment, part two. <laughs> Number 15. Pipeline blasting. No, this isn't some sandworm from the monster movie Tremors slithering underground. And also, no, this isn't some sort of natural disaster. This wormy blast is completely man-made. It's pipeline blasting. Several feet under the ground lie entire pipeline networks that are crucial for a well-functioning infrastructure servicing towns and cities around the world. There are different ways of digging the ground for such purposes. However, the most effective way is to carry out pipeline blasting like you're seeing here. These pipeline networks deliver important resources such as fuel and water. Moreover, certain such networks also transfer sewage to treatment plants. These are some amenities without which we can't imagine our lives in the modern age. Therefore, digging up soil is the most efficient way of laying down these pipelines. It involves drilling explosives into the ground as several different points on the desired pipeline route and then detonate them. As there exists explosives of different magnitudes, this particular technique gives construction authorities better control over the digging process. Pipeline blasting doesn't just work great, but looks great as well. Number 14. Breakdancing Gorilla Most humans love to bust a move now and then, and since we're so closely related as species, it's no surprise that gorillas do too. Check out these primates catching breakdance fever. Zola the gorilla from Canada's Calgary Zoo, for example, loves to get his spin on. It looks as though the zoo has a smooth moving star on its hands with Zola the gorilla. This western lowland gorilla might need a talent agent after a video was posted showing the gorilla busting out some pretty sweet moves inside his enclosure. There's more video that shows the gorilla splashing, thrashing, and spinning like a top in a plastic pool in a manner that brings to mind an overgrown toddler. And that's not all. Gorillas in captivity all around the world have been known to exhibit playful behavior. Playing is healthy behavior for youngsters and is an important role in gorillas' development. Play has great social value for them as they learn how to interact with each other and also form and reinforce bonds that may be useful later on. It also helps gorillas learn how to navigate their environment as they grow and figure out how to handle their increasing strength. Play, dancing too, is very important in the development of a young gorilla. So carry on gorillas, shake your groove thing. Number 13. The cat says no to bath. Most people who have cats know that most of them hate water, and in these clips, we even hear the cats scream the word no. No! <laughs> no! It seems as their owners try to get them in the bath. It's a little awkward for these humans, to say the least, but it's also hilarious to watch the cat's reaction. There's just a universal quality about the whole cat versus water thing, the way the eyes instantly dilate how they could spread eagle the moment they're lifted over the tub that any pet owner knows all too well. So what's the deal with cats in water? An aversion to water is one of the most well-known characteristics of household cats. In general, however, domestic cats will go to great lengths to avoid getting wet, and behaviorists have developed a number of theories to explain why. One suggests that because the species evolved in dry climates and had little exposure to rivers or lakes, Water, except for drinking, is an element they're unfamiliar with. More likely, however, cats don't like getting wet because of what water does to their fur. Wet fur is extremely uncomfortable for a cat and often takes a long time to dry. Wet fur is also heavier than dry and thus makes a cat less nimble and easier for predators to catch. So if you have to bathe the cat one day, good luck! Number 12. Barefoot Water Skiing Barefoot skiing is exactly what it sounds like, water skiing behind a motorboat without the use of water skis. And as you can see, these folks are really good at it. From side slides to switchblades, backwards and no hands, these water lizards have all the tricks. Commonly referred to as barefooting, 
This type of water skiing requires the skier to travel at higher speeds than conventional water skiing, about 30 to 45 miles per hour. The necessary speed required to keep the skier upright varies by the weight of the barefooter. Barefoot water skis originated in Winter Haven, Florida. According to the Water Ski Hall of Fame and witnesses of the event, a 17-year-old became the first person ever to barefoot water ski in 1947. During this time, barefooting began developing in Australia as well. In April 1963, the first national competition was held in Australia, with 38 competitors. The Australians were the first to develop barefoot jumping, one of the three events in modern barefoot competition, as well as pioneer many new tricks. Now it can be appreciated in many bodies of water around the world wherever water skiers can be found. Number 11. Insane Apple-Eating Juggling Juggling anything besides jiggling balls is an impressive feat, but add eating into the equation, and that's a whole other level of complicated. A man named Brian Pankey took 65 consecutive bites of three apples while juggling them in 30 seconds. What an absolute tour de force! The juggling, the eating, the primordial grunt, the look in his eyes, it's all hypnotizing. Put him in a televised talent show to compete and surely he'd win. This guy's the winner. The last thing we need is for another act that's been practicing for their moment in the spotlight for a decade to get steamrolled by this dude in front of a national TV audience. So just spare everyone else the embarrassment and hand this guy the trophy or whatever it is they award on that show. Better yet, give the trophy to juggler David Rush. He took over 150 bites out of apples in one minute while juggling making it a Guinness World Record worthy attempt. The secret behind the trick is not so much the technique, it's the kind of apples you use that make the biggest difference. The good news for apple-loving jugglers around the world, there are several tutorials online from the likes of people who want to add a little fruit to their juggling fun. What's next? Peeling bananas while you juggle? Let's hope so! Number 10. Giant Tortoise Snacks on a Pumpkin Forget viral TikTok dance challenges, your new favorite online addiction has to be tortoises eating pumpkins. At zoos around the world, like the San Diego Zoo, Galapagos tortoises celebrate the Halloween season with a yummy pumpkin snack. Pumpkin is a healthy food that domesticated tortoises enjoy eating. They're vitamin, mineral, and nutrient-dense, high in soluble fiber for good digestive health, and an immune system booster. These zoos know it's a good idea to add some pumpkin to a tortoise's diet, as long as the species can digest fruits. Pumpkins shouldn't be a staple of a tortoise's diet, however nor should they be a primary ingredient in its meals, even for tortoise species that can properly digest fruits. They have a laxative effect and speed up the metabolism, wherein the tortoise's body processes its meals too quickly. Tortoises only need to eat five days a week and take up to three weeks to fully digest a meal. Slow digestion is to the tortoise's advantage, as they'll glean every nutrient from its food during this time. And on top of that, it looks like these tortoises are having a blast trying to get a hold of these hard, giant pumpkins. But their beaks make quick work of the orange fruit once they get a hold of it. Number 9. Ballerina If you've seen a production of The Nutcracker or Swan Lake, or if you've been on Earth for a couple of years, then you know what a ballerina is. Ballerinas are female dancers. Male ballerinas are just ballet dancers. And as you can see, it's an art form, not meant for your average dance enthusiast. Professional ballerinas aren't lackadaisical people who'd rather stay in bed all day than go to the gym. They're perfectionists who'd rather spend their lives trying to get their legs a little bit higher or make their pirouettes a little tighter than spend time relaxing with people. When other people are going to their offices at 9 a.m., ballerinas head to the studio for a long, grueling eight hours of dance. A professional ballerina must be relentless with her self-discipline and self-motivation, willing to push her body to the point of breaking simply because she loves dance. If you ever do cross paths with a professional ballerina, you can safely guess a few things about them. They're intensely dedicated to their art form. Their feet, carefully hidden by closed toe shoes, are probably covered with ripped calluses and physically they're muscular and flexible. They're like stretchy rubber bands made of pure muscle. Number 8. Walrus Sit-Up If you're ever in need of some motivation to get to the gym and fit in a daily workout, pretend you're a walrus. Let's face it, if they can do it, so can you. Sure, they're getting paid in delicious fish by their trainers to perform these tricks, but hey, 
whatever works, right? Walruses are thought to be some of the most intelligent marine species. Although it's difficult to determine animal intelligence, walrus behavior can be a good indication. Walruses are considered to be smart because they've been observed to perform many of the behaviors which are good indicators of high intelligence. This includes social mimicry, problem solving, and emotional intelligence. Plus, as you can see, these huge animals are highly trainable. One of the most obvious signs of intelligence in marine mammals like walruses is social learning and group coordination. Fitness counts too. Walruses have been trained by marine behavior experts to perform a variety of tricks, making various noises on cue, interacting with toys to encourage natural foraging behaviors, and various physical tricks including head nodding, lifting their flippers, and moving in and out of the water on demand, and yes, sit-ups. Number 7. Fishing from the Balcony Who knew this was even a thing? When a video from Dubai of a creative fisherman accomplishing a rare feat landing a fish from his apartment balcony 50 feet above ground went viral, other anglers had to get in on the fishing trend. Turns out the technique works. You don't need a boat. You don't need a dock. All you really need is an apartment or house with a balcony close to the water. Okay, maybe you need a little bit more. You're going to need a good fishing rod with a long, long line and most definitely some patience. And if you want some social media infamy, you're going to need someone to help film it in case you do actually catch something. Did you know that fishing is often used as a recreational therapy? Because time spent in nature is shown to diminish depression, reduce inflammation, and offset stressful situations. Spending time in beautiful outdoor places, the calming sound of the waves lapping against a shoreline, the feelings of accomplishment when you reel in your personal best catch. There are probably more reasons to go fishing than you ever realized. But as you can see, some fishing lovers don't even have to leave their apartments to land a catch. Balcony fishing could be the best reason for new fishing enthusiasts to cast a reel. Number 6. Buck Shedding Antler have you ever wondered where all the antler deer go in early spring? And what about that lone antler you found on an outdoor excursion once? Does that mean a buck died nearby? Animals such as deer, moose, elk, and caribou grow and shed their antlers every late winter or early spring. The antlers, which are extensions of the animal's skull, begin to grow back in March or April and develop over the summer. If you notice them during the growth stage, they'll look fuzzy and that's because the growing bone and cartilage is layered with a furry skin called velvet. Once the antlers are done growing in the fall, usually September, the velvet begins to slow off. The animals will rub against trees to get rid of the strips of dead fuzz, leaving the hard, smooth bone most people imagine as antlers behind. You may notice patches of shredded bark on trees and branches, and these are known as rubs. The resulting hard, pointy antlers are used by the males to spar during the rut fighting for females. In late winter, low testosterone levels in males cause the connection between the antler and skull to deteriorate. Eventually, the antler falls off and is left behind. We call those shed antlers, or sheds for short. Number 5. Geese Crossing Road Spring and early summer are the times when you may see waterfowl like this crossing the road. Much of the time, this will be Canada geese. These big birds are rather numerous and have adapted well to living near humans. Think of all the apartment and city ponds you've seen with them hanging about. They can eat grass, so a pond with a lawn looks like home to them. As their numbers grow, they're more and more considered pests in these settings, and they have no problem halting traffic to get to the other side of the road. We're happy to say that most drivers, who are not always patient, restrain themselves and allow the geese to cross the road. These birds have become ubiquitous and their population has increased dramatically by over 7% per year between 1966 and 2019. The global breeding population is estimated at 7.1 million. The proliferation of lawns, golf courses, and parks offer Canada geese such reliable habitat that in some areas, the birds stay year-round instead of migrating like they used to do. The main reason you may see geese on the road is when they're walking their young to prominent waterways. Goslings may not be flying yet, so their parents will dutifully escort them with a watchful eye to a river, reservoir, or pond from their nesting areas and fields. Number 4. Frozen Fish Comes Alive A video going insanely viral on social media shows a frozen fish pulled straight out of a refrigerator springing back to life 
and swimming in a tub of water. You can see the fish as white as snow since ice covers it completely. It also doesn't seem to be moving at all. The frozen fish seems to instantly thaw and you can see now that it's actually silver in color. Moments that pretty much feel like an eternity later, the fish moves a fin and springs back into action. It begins swimming around the vessel. Can fish and other aquatic creatures really survive in a state of suspended animation until spring? The surprising answer is yes. Sometimes, it's true that some fish can spend the winter frozen in ice and come out swimming once the ice melts. Much like bears and other hibernating animals, some ice-bound fish are able to shut down basic bodily functions, slow their metabolism, and enter a dormant state. Some fish contain a kind of antifreeze substance that allows them to survive very cold conditions. Because fish are ectothermic, aka cold-blooded, animals, when the water they live in is below freezing, they need a way to keep themselves from freezing. This is where their antifreeze proteins come in. Number 3. Paragliding Hassan Kaval is a successful Turkish paraglider. Furthermore, he's also popular for doing stunts like this. Although he's probably never sat on a grounded couch for more than 5 seconds in his life, he turned himself into a flying couch potato, one who soared through the skies over Turkey while watching cartoons and drinking soda. Most of the video, as expected, is quite chill as Kaval cruises through the sky over a beach resort but there are two moments where it looks like the aerial operation could have been in jeopardy during liftoff and landing. In his latest stunt, he took a 15-minute nap on a literal airbed. The paraglider completed his exciting journey with a lamp, table, and alarm clock. After 15 minutes of a refreshing journey in the sky, he enjoyed a smooth landing. However, he surprised very much nearby beachgoers. The area was the coast of the Dead Sea in southwest Turkey. And believe it or not, the daredevil with a sense of humor and a death wish also spent three days preparing for this stunt with no test flight. As his video shows, Kaval was not strapped in and it's not advisable to try and recreate this stunt yourself. He obviously feels confident as a paraglider, has zero fear, and doesn't take risking his life too seriously. Number 2. Terrifying Rope Swing some adventure seekers thrive off adrenaline and the scarier, the better. When bungee and zip lines are too old school, there are swings, and we don't mean the playground type. Take the Nevis Swing, New Zealand. With a staggering 229-foot freefall, those who can keep their eyes open will be rewarded with stunning views of Queenstown. Next is the swing at the end of the world, Ecuador. This swing offers riders a magnificent view of a volcano. The swing itself is not that high off the ground. The part that is over the ground, that is, it does swing you over a cliff drop too, so hold on tight. Then there's the Bali Swing, Indonesia. Situated in a beautiful forest, the Bali Swings have different options. It's the biggest one, of course, that piqued our interest. Coming in at a lofty 250 feet high, this one takes you to the top of the jungle. Not to be outdone, the Giant Swing, China. This big daddy of all swings hangs from a 328-foot high arch and swings over a 984-foot cliff drop in a theme park. Would you try it? Lastly, Grasscop Gorge Big Swing South Africa. The world's highest cable gorge swing has a 223-foot freefall. Fear of heights? These terrifying rope swings are not for you. These people have no fear. Number 1. Dolphin Dance Humans are highly intelligent, social animals, but we're not the only ones. Dolphins have similar social wiring to our own. Have you ever wondered how the trainers train these dolphins? After all, it's not like humans can speak dolphin, right? Professional marine trainers can teach dolphins many behaviors. They start by breaking down the trick into many steps. They then teach the animal one step at a time. When the animal does a step right, the trainer rewards them. Another tool trainers use is the hand signal. Trainers have a unique hand signal for each trick they want the dolphin to perform. When the signal is given, the dolphin knows what the trainer wants it to do. They also use whistles. A whistle tells the dolphin that it performed the desired behavior correctly. Performing the behavior correctly also earns the dolphin a reward. The reward can be food, a toy, or special attention from the trainer. This makes the dolphin want to perform the behavior correctly every time. How about when a dolphin performs the trick incorrectly? When that happens, the trainer gives no response. Animals are not punished for incorrect behavior. 
Instead, they just don't get positive reinforcement. In this way, positive reinforcement becomes an even more powerful tool. Thank goodness these memorable moments were captured on camera. We'd have a hard time believing them to be true had we not pressed record. It's the proof that we needed. So like and subscribe if you need more memorable moments like these.